Well, hello, good people, and all of those of you who've been watching me do this. Sorry about the noise in the background. I've got my extractor fan going to extract stuff. Right. I have, I'm sorry I missed this, I forgot to turn the camera on. Um, I have leveled, I've taken off the varnish and leveled the fingerboard. The varnish had a few dings in it from when I removed, when I removed the frets. Uh, they really, really, really did not want to come out. And uh, there's still a little one there, but I think that's a lot better than it was. So, Mr. Leo's beautifully sculpted Stratocaster neck. Um, I have to make sure it's the correct, correct radius, and uh, then fettle up the. fret slots here and fit the frets and get two frets out of each of these and uh, I've got 12 of these lengths from Tone Tech um, here in the UK they're online and they're working despite the lockdown I think it's just one block actually but uh, they're always been very good to me so now I've got this we need to just clean out all these and measure the depth. I may have to deepen them a tiny bit, but I shouldn't think so. And not as I'm using the back edge of the knife here. Doing it more than once if it's rough, which they aren't really. Whoops. There we go. That's the sort of mess you make when you're an idiot. Um, I don't know the rest of you, but I'm getting really fed up with this lockdown business. Uh, Gigs are hard to come by. Actually, gigs are impossible to come by. A lot of my friends are doing the online thing. Which is great, I suppose. I could do it. I've got the kit. But, uh, why? Why, I say to myself, should I do that? Anyway. The, uh, yeah, that's looking better. Let's scratch there, it'll come out. And uh, it's a lovely piece of maple. And uh, I may just put a very, very, very light... Well, in fact, I'm going to fret it, trim the frets, roughly crown them, um, and then varnish it, which I believe is how the factory do it, so that the, the varnish will help to keep the frets seated. Uh, I'm not going to match this. I no, I'm never going to do it in a million years. Um, I've got some varnish. I'm not going to be queuing up at B&Q or wherever. Well, I could do it, order it online. And uh, the neck is in good condition. There's no splits, cracks. Um, it's the only thing you expect from a fender neck. I mean, all right, it's Japanese fender. People say, oh, it's not made in America. But it doesn't really matter. Um, it's a perfectly excellent neck. It's beautifully made. The Japanese have got their act together when it comes to making guitar parts. And uh, that's where we are at the moment. So, a real short video, this one. Not much going on. Just to show you. It's more for the owner's benefit than anything else because he's unable to come around because of the, the lockdown and the restrictions on travel we've got here in the UK. Um, He's unable to come along and have a look how I'm getting on. So, eh, such is life. Um, I shall switch off and make a little short video. Uh, it being a Sunday. I think it's Sunday, is it? Somebody tell me what day it is. Sunday. There we go. So, now the neck's going to be slightly lighter when it's finished than the rest of the neck. Um, over years it will darken up. There's many years life left in this guitar. Um, He's only a young lad who owns it. Well, I can be half my age, but that's not saying much. <laughs> I was considered old once, half my age. Um, 
I may even stick him a bone nut in here. I'm not sure if he's a vegetarian or not, so you've got to be careful. You can't just go slapping bone nuts in people's guitars till you know what their, their beliefs and stuff is. So you've got to ask, which I will do. But, oh, I'm waffling on, I know. If I put the varnish on now, it's going to go in the fret slots. And the frets aren't going to go in. So, say la vie for that. And if I could actually find... Oh, I can't find anything these days, it's all gone. Uh, I've got a set of small files. I, I just need to trim the just a little bit with a uh, three-cornered file and see how we get on with it. Uh, I purchased a new set of fret nippers for this, by the way. Look at that. Costco. Cost an arm and a leg and a firstborn, but there you go. Mail order. Again, from Tone Tech. So, good stuff, Costco. We get it a bit closer, you can see it. I mean, I could make my own, but I can't get to my workshop. Uh, because of blah 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 viruses. So this has got a completely flat to only nip the flats off. So it does them and you haven't got to do an awful lot of filing away. That's it. Other stuff I can do well I've had is strip this down and clean it. It's a bit manky. Um, it's lovely and heavy. I don't know what this is, probably zinc. I'm not going to start scratching at it to see what it's made of. It's heavy enough to be brass, to be honest. But, uh, let's have a little look, shall we? Oh yeah, just a gentle scratch on the cut. No, it's zinc. So, either way, it's very heavy. Good bridge. Um, yeah, people say, ah, you've got to have uh, brass or whatever. Molybdenum disulfide, bloody essence. Take no notice. Take no notice. Anyway, enough for tonight. Um, thank you very much for watching, and see you in the near future.